everybody. As you can tell, we got a lot of sunshine out here and I'm not gonna complain a bit. I think spring is just about here in this area anyway and I don't necessarily think that we're not gonna have any more cold, but you can feel it in the air. And you can hear the birds. You can see that the lizards are out, which means the snakes are right behind them. So it's uh, advisable to exercise caution if you're out tromping around in the brush. It seems that there's a lot of encouragement needed. And it came up, it's come up several times, but in a discussion that I had today with a lovely young woman about there's a lot of anxiety out there. Um, I've had that discussion with so many people. There's a lot of anxiety and there's a lot of reassessing. Um, the thing that came up a couple of times is how do you know who to help? The best answer I can give is that your intuition, you know, from inside. And if you've worked on that and you know you can trust it, then you know that that's the answer. What we've got to realize is that now we are operating on a higher frequency. With, with that being said, uh, we're reassessing things a little bit. Uh, we're getting used to that norm. What, what is the normal now was us functioning at highest skill set before. Now, that just is who we are. And we've got to learn to trust it not to mention that the situation is changing all around us constantly. So you're having to also recalibrate, if you will, constantly because of the situation going on around you. Be patient with yourself. First thing, I heard something. I'm checking to make sure there's no critter down there. I don't want crawling on me. Chewie's got my back. He's down there. So one of the things that came out of nowhere to describe the the momentum of this process because we go through there are cycles within cycles within cycles everything is a cycle it comes back to zero point and it starts again the only way you can tell where you're at in a cycle beginning or end is by looking at the things that happen in between and then assessing against possibly a previously experienced cycle but because we're feeling the momentum of this process, the ebb and flow that you feel, um, and the ebb and flow is a, it's like things will start going really, really fast and then it mellows out for a while. That is the fluctuation of the frequency. Low frequency, high frequency. So, so that's the fluctuation, the ebb and flow that you feel is because that's gonna have to regulate your frequency is going to have to come into resonance with the experience that you're manifesting. And then the pulse that you might feel like, sometimes there are just these bursts of creativity, of ideas, or a leap, just a leap forward in your spirituality. This is your expansion, okay? The growth, your soul growth, as it were. It's the expansion, it's what you came here to do. And then the stillness that, that we seek so much sometimes, that is stability. And a lot of times you are reassessing your baseline when that's happening. Um, you're doing your own recalibration and you need all of the external stuff to go away. Or you could be receiving some really uh, extremely mind-blowing downloads or information and when your body, or, or not when your body, when your consciousness and your energy starts to integrate that, there's a constant recalibration happening. That is what's going on when you're feeling these things. Synchronicities. Synchronicities are more than just seeing numbers or seeing animals or having the same. Synchronicities are so much more than that. When something starts coming into your awareness a whole lot, ask why. So with that being said, I've gotten to know the plight of what many seem to think is normal and we're starting to see a change in that now in a lot of ways as, as humanity, as the collective uh, increases in frequency and rises in frequency. We're starting to see 
things are getting somewhat better, but I have a heart for that. I, I absolutely can't stand for somebody to hurt, for somebody to be mistreated. That is the most painful, miserable thing for me. And it's come to my attention a lot lately. <clears throat> and it was focused on, on just mostly women. And I found that goes back to a past life. However, what's come to my attention here lately, and really for the past year, is North Korea. There's a lot of synchronicities there for me as well. My father, um, that was the first thing he did when he joined the Marine Corps, was he ended up in Korea. So I... I have the experience of knowing somebody that was there in that war. I've come across this young lady named Yomei Park, and of course the link will be in the description. And she escaped from North Korea, finally. I encourage you to go and check her channel out. And she spoke the other day that there had been an uprising in North Korea. Now it did not succeed, but there had been an uprising. And she said that there's no way that that ever would have happened before, which tells her that things are changing. I've become very aware and uh, and starting to educate myself about the whole cryptocurrency. And she also said that that would be an excellent way to help these people that need to get out. I came across another um, young lady that defected from North Korea and I think her name is Yuna. Of course, that, that link will be there also. Well, <clears throat> it was shortly after Donald Trump had walked into North Korea and they had the whole photo op and everything and, and it was an amazing moment. So sometime during that point, a young man escaped from North Korea. And I remember seeing the video of it. And I've really been thinking a lot about this lately. <clears throat> Well, the other day he had his first day on guard duty at that very same, very same checkpoint, but as a soldier from South Korea. And then I got that full circle message. We have to keep these people in our thoughts and not just the people of North Korea. Um, I encourage you to jump into that collective of energy that is, is being pulled for them because that's a key but anybody anywhere that is still suffering and being tormented by another intentionally i ask you to put that up there <clears throat> some of these old energies when people choose a name uh some of these energies go way back to i'm going to go ahead and say it uh 3500 bc there are people entities whatever functioning today that have reached back all the way to that it really was a kind of alchemy that was used against people to ensnare them into this endless cycle where they surrender their energy and their awareness and their consciousness. The biggest thing you can do is have pure intent, be authentic, be true. Because the energies that we're headed into on the other side of this is a place where there's no reason to be keeping secrets or deceiving. That's where we're headed. And that's what I felt so led to share, of course, and share this. The water's still over there. I know you see the kayak. There was a point to that. But the water's over there. But I really felt to share the earth and let you hear my heart. Again, use the comments as a place to connect. I will include links. And for everybody that joined, thank you so much. And I've as always, I'm sending out so much truth and so much light energy, and I'm just grateful to have you on this journey.